Now, Thomas Geeboy with your first alert weather. Well, today has been fairly on the quiet side. We did see a couple light showers across the News 5 area, and as we start off tomorrow, it's going to be more of the same. Nice and breezy as we start off on Saturday. A few showers possible, but by the time we get to tomorrow evening, there will be the chance for a few thunderstorms. Currently looking at those temperatures right now, those sitting at 67 in Mobile, 68 in Pensacola. Jay, you're the cool spot we're seeing with your temperatures into the upper 50s. We won't see temperatures cool off much more from here. In fact, we'll go with overnight lows into the lower 60s. We'll go with a low of 63 here in Mobile, a low of 64 degrees in Daphne. So if you're south of I-10, expect those temperatures more so into the middle 60s with about a 10% chance for maybe an isolated shower. And we'll go with this low of 64 degrees for those of you in Pensacola, keeping that about 10% chance for an isolated shower. But let's go ahead and talk about our forecast, especially as we go throughout tomorrow, because there is the chance for a few stronger thunderstorms. First thing tomorrow morning, there will be a slight chance for maybe just a few isolated showers, not thunderstorms in our Mississippi County. So the further west you are tomorrow morning, the higher your chance for rain will be only around 20%. But as we make our way throughout the day, we'll keep with those winds out of the southeast, anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour. But notice, as we get into tomorrow afternoon, a line of potential thunderstorms looks to move in. So this is around 2 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. That's when it'll start to be moving into our western county, such as Greene County and also into Washington County. This line will continue to move from west to east, and right around 3 to 4 o'clock, we'll be approaching I-65. You're looking at it being around downtown Mobile, anywhere from 4 to around 7 o'clock, so a late afternoon into early evening. And then it continues to push off from the west from there, moving into the panhandle tomorrow evening and then completely getting out of here by the time we get to Sunday morning. We'll be left with lingering showers on Sunday, but no chance for severe weather. Your Green and Phillips umbrella forecast for tomorrow, an 80% chance that you are going to need an umbrella at some point tomorrow. So our severe weather outlook for tomorrow, only a slight risk for severe weather, but that does mean severe weather is possible, and that's for a majority of the News 5 area. Everywhere else, the further east you are, you're included in that marginal category. So what does this necessarily mean? There's a totem pole when it comes to severe weather outlooks. Tomorrow we're encompassed in that slight risk, so that's the second from the bottom. Even though it does mean severe weather is possible, it's not likely, but tomorrow you want to make sure that you stay weather aware just in case. The weather threats for tomorrow, the main thing that we'll be watching out for will be damaging straight line winds. Also can't rule out large hail and we can't rule out the chance for an isolated spin up. So tomorrow have a way to stay informed. NOAA Weather Radio, the News 5 free weather app, and like we're doing now, showing a behind the scenes look on Facebook Live. So tomorrow, stay tuned to Facebook Live. We'll make sure we keep you updated on everything that you need to know. Your beach forecast for tomorrow, watch out. There is a high risk for rip current southeast winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour. So tomorrow, stay weather aware that 80% chance for a shower and thunderstorm does exist, mainly from the afternoon into the early evening. Then a 30% chance for rain on Sunday, just isolated showers, maybe a few rumbles, but no worry of severe weather. Then we continue with a 20% chance for rain on Monday, and from there, it's going to continue to be warm with plenty of sunshine.